Hey guys, this is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the most common viruses on today's computer. Uh, we're going to focus on the scareware infection, which is what you see up on your screen right now, the XP Anti-Spyware Pro 2013. So this is a simple infection in that it's only one or two files that make changes to your system, but try and make you believe that you have multiple infections. So, some prerequisites to do this. First, we want a clean computer that we can download our utilities to, preferably not this computer because it's infected. Um, write down this link and take it to a clean computer. Um, this is a file I've created that's hosted on my Dropbox that will download all the utilities you need to get rid of almost all of these viruses that you find out there. Uh, on the computer you're obviously going to need a CD burner and a blank CD. What you'll want to do is go ahead and go to this download link and it will download a file called virusremovalutilities.bat, I believe. Um, and you'll want to run that from your desktop. What it'll do is create a folder on your desktop called virus removal tools. And uh, in that folder will be all these utilities you see listed here, minus the virus removal tools from the original desktop. Um, it will download to your current user desktop. Then simply burn it to a CD and bring the CD back to the infected computer. And what you want to do is we're going to click start, turn off computer, and before we hit restart, we want to be prepared to start pretty much hammering the F8 key on your keyboard. Uh, so go ahead and click restart and start pushing F8. Uh, what this will do is once Windows reboots and starts loading, this will give us the options menu uh, as you see right here. And we want to choose safe mode with command prompt. This option loads up Windows without any of the frills. No internet or no explorer desktop, no viruses can load. Uh, your antivirus typically doesn't even load in this state. It get, gets us to a clean prompt that we can work with. Now, as I put my CD in the D drive, that's where all our utilities are now located. Um, the most common uh, commands we're going to use are CD for change directory, uh, CD period period to move back a directory, DIR for directory, and then CD in this case we want to run cleanup so we're going to CD to the cleanup directory. And every utility you've downloaded with this my utility is named them Explorer. Uh, it does this because the viruses, if they have hooks into your system, uh, will not mess with Explorer because your windows will just crash and be completely inoperable. So what we want to do first is run the cleanup utility. We do this. Um, the less junk we have on our system, temp files, all that, the less scanning time is required. In this case, uh, we're not. I'm not new. You can go through the demo version if you want, but we'll click no in this case. Um, I already have donated to this user, so if you wish to do so, I recommend it. Um, and that's it. Done cleaning temp files. Close. We do want to say no because we still have more to do. Again, CD period period to change directory. Next, we want to CD to the auto runs directory and explore it at ex or explore it, excuse me again. Agree. Now, every one of these viruses I've encountered pretty much runs from your user directory. So what we want to look for is something located under the uh, C drive. Uh, in this case, we're on XP, so it's going to be under Documents and Settings. Um, if you are on Vista 7 or 8, it will be under the Users folder. So, as you can see, all these are under Windows, Program Files, uh, pretty much safe for the most part. Uh, as you see, though, here's our executable, Documents and Settings, Administrator, Local Settings, Application Data, VGH.exe is the name of our program that's loading. We want to uncheck this and exit out. What that did is disabled the program so it can't load again on restart should we accidentally restart our computer. Final utility we're going to run under safe mode is Malwarebytes Anti-Rootkit. 
Now, this one is pretty much going to take care of the infection completely for us. We're going to next. Now, we don't have an internet connection, so we can't update at this point. So we're just going to next through it again and scan. Now, this utility will go through. It'll find rootkit infections. Uh, those are infections that completely hide themselves from your system, but they are very... Um, how can I say disabling on your system? You can't do a whole lot with them there. Um, some of them won't even let you know they're there, other than the fact that your brand new computer can run like a 10 year old computer. It will be so slow it's unusable. Um, a lot of times you'll go to Google and you'll type in a search and you click on the link and it'll take you where you did not want to go. Um, like I said, in this case, this is just a simple scareware infection. Nothing too bad. As you see, it found it already. <coughs> So we're just going to let this proceed. Um, you might want to run this in regular mode again. In this case, I know there's no need to um, with the update, just if you feel you might uh, for extra protection. Um, once this is done, we have only one more step in that. That's going to be replacing our browser and our uh, antivirus, obviously. In this case, our antivirus didn't do its job. Um, as you can see, our original vgh.exe is listed. Um, iExplore.exe, what this does is every time you load your Internet Explorer, it's telling it, hey, tell it to crash and to come over here and say you have an infection. Uh, the antivirus disable, they did that because they claim they are the antivirus on your system currently. Firewall disable, they disable your firewall so they can get in and apply their updates uh, to keep you infected. Um, finally, updates disable. They disable your automatic updates because they don't want you to download the fixes uh, to patch your system so they can't infect you. So all we need to do though is click the cleanup button. And we're all done, so we can click yes. This will uh, reboot our system. We'll be coming in Windows here again. Yeah, we're back to our desktop. We should see Internet Explorer loads much faster. There you go. Um, the automatic updates are turned off. Go ahead and go in there and turn those back on. Our next step, go to the website ninite.com. N-I-N-I-T-E.com. You definitely want to check Chrome. Um, if you're a Firefox fan, go ahead. Um, I prefer Chrome. It has been shown to be uh, safer versus viruses. Um, you'll want to do Flash, Java, and Reader. Uh, those are the most common utilities that get out of date. Uh, people get pop-ups and they ignore them. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make sure you're up to snuff. Finally, Essentials is the antivirus by Microsoft, it's completely free. Last your lifetime, there's no pop-ups, no worries, just use it. And finally, Malwarebytes is an anti-malware program that runs alongside your antivirus. The free version is on demand. I would pay the $25. It gives you two levels of security. Um, you get your antivirus and you get a, a secure uh, scanner also. So finally, with the download installer, I save it to my desktop for ease of use. That's all done. Exit out. Run that program and you'll find that it will pop up and start doing your downloads. Nice thing about this program, leave this little icon on your desktop run it from time to time. It'll go through and update these programs for you. Make sure they're up to date. If they are already up to date, it'll just skip them. Other than that, you are all set. You can start using your computer safely again. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave comments below. Like and subscribe. The more subscribes and likes I get, obviously the more videos I can do. Thank you and have a good day.